we need to start making things happen out here. Because until we get this cleaned up, all of us never going to raise out of the ashes. It's going to be what it is for the day I die, for the day you die. It's something we need to do, and something needs to get done now. I don't have all the answers. I'm here, my organization is here to support you all you can. We're out there picking up trash. We're in the streets talking to our neighbors. You know, we do a lot of things in this community. Work with the schools. I know you don't hear about the schools. We're reaching out to the children. Trying to make them understand that they have a responsibility. They play a role in this. But we all play a role, and I think a lot of us have dropped the ball here, and it needs to be picked up, and we need to do something about it. Now, I don't know what that is exactly. You make policy. You're the policy makers. Glassburg, again, Woodburg, they have a lot of the same issues we have. Why not follow their lead? They're trying to do things different. I know Woodbury has the thing with landlords. You know, trying to lay your buildings, make them more uh, respectable, make them more safe. You know, we need to reach out to other communities around these same problems we're having and maybe model some of their actions. But whatever it takes, we've got to get it done. We've got to stop talking about it, and we have to get wrong. It's getting late, and again, people pay taxes. You know, I don't want to pay taxes. I'm in this community. But I mean, I don't know what I'm getting for anymore. I don't know what I'm getting for my money anymore. Nothing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me, uh, as you walk back to your seat, let me thank you and your group because the group is sincere uh, and we're very grateful and, 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 it's, and it's helping and, you know, and everything you said has, has, has some merit. Uh, I don't agree with the extreme that you have presented because I'm in other places too and I see how other communities are dealing with things and some of those don't have an active group like yourself. We've had some advantage for us. Uh, and we are making progress in some areas, but never fast enough. By the way, there are some gains here. Uh, the administrator put together the demolition begins September 10th. So it was a month to get it together. September 10th, we tear down four more buildings. That's going to help. That includes the one on the right behind the old home count like it, which helps as well. Uh, who'd like to go next? Please come up. We'll just need your name just for the record. My name is Barbara Schaffer, and I live at 248 Vanderbilt Boulevard. Hello, Barbara. On the corner, I just want you to know, 12 years ago, I moved here to Paulsburg from Camden. And I thought I was living in a decent neighborhood. But let me tell you that the trash that's on the outside of my fence is the same as it was in Camden. And this is a small thing. Well, but that when, uh, when you say trash, is that something just that doesn't build up over time? When, uh, no, I have to pick it up because <laughs> well, that's my house that's on the corner. I pick it up at Broad Spruce too, so yeah. But yes, I know we all have to do that. But also, on the corner of Vanderbilt Boulevard, I've been here before and brought a group here because we wanted some of uh, our things in the road because the people come down Vanderman Boulevard like they think they're on a highway. You're talking about the home yeah. the, uh, yeah. 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 I agree with you. I agree with that too. Now I'm here yeah. because the no truck sign has been down now almost a year and a half. No truck store is supposed to come down Vanderman Boulevard. That's right. That's right. That's right. But they are coming down because the sign is down okay. and no one put them back up. Right. And I do want you to know that we do have an artistic job that lives on Vanderbilt Boulevard and it's very, very important that those trucks do not come down there doing 45 and 50 miles an hour, we'll get even started. the cars. We'll get the sign back up. I, I didn't realize the sign was down. We, right. we can get the sign back up. That may help a little bit. Chuck Pender, Chuck Pender, Chuck is in the corner. Chuck is sitting there. Donald coordinates that. Well, well, we'll get the sign back up. Uh, who'd like to go next? Who'd like to go next? Moselle, please. Hello, Moselle. Speaking of me tonight, I'm concerned about this area. Ms. I don't want to that mic on. See if she can get that on. Is that mic is on? Okay. Just have to speak up because you can't help with can't hear you back. You put the graph up. I'm not going to pretend that I understood what that was all about. I'm going to the website quickly, but I can. But I do understand that my tax went up last year, $200. Mm -hmm. And this year, 
I'm going up sixteen hundred dollars. We're gonna make a total of eighteen hundred dollars in two years. Yeah, in two years. Okay. I don't like it. I don't, I don't think it's fair. Uh, I would like to see the breakdown, the breakdown on how these taxes were formulated for each and every one. If it was done through a property uh, reassessment or whatever, I would like to know because nobody come out. No, we haven't. There hasn't been. I'll let John to recall. Who was the last year of a reevaluation, John? Ninety-eight. Okay. Uh, no, you, you weren't a victim of the reevaluation here. Okay, so, but we haven't had a reevaluation community-wide. John said ninety-eight. It's been a decade, ten years. So, what happened to you this year was what happened to everybody else. The, with the ratio, the value of your house has gone to books. Cause it cause this this burden to fall on you. Yeah, well, there, there, there was a reevaluation. Well, it should be way way the housing interest you know, uh, went down. Then my taxes should go down. Value on my property is not the same. But what, what's going to be interesting on this ratio side when we get this next round and start to see some more sales and see what's happening on the real estate market? Now, right now, our assessed value against what houses are selling for, as I mentioned, 2007, we're down to 16 percent in the ratio. See if that comes back up, which will help us a little bit, uh, maybe even help us a little bit on Exxon Mobil. Uh, this housing market's been out of whack, and you know, but the issue, the issue that, that has hit you is what's hit every one of us, everybody sitting in this room, is Exxon Mobil is paying less taxes, and that tax burden shifted over to the residential side, even in the fact that you know, cuts, we can't make enough cuts fast enough. So that's what's happened. All right, Mr. Harris, I just don't see how people are going to be able to pay those taxes. You're going to have a bunch of homes, foreclosed homes, because you talk about $1,800 worth of taxes in two years, and it's just not, it's just not cool. You can always expect some degree, when you're in a place like we are, where we don't have all the redevelopment yet, where we're, where we're hanging our hat on the development on the court side, when you're two square miles and don't have development, you can always expect it's going to be at least the cost of living. Our goal here is a government by it. The cost of living, which is about three and a half percent, which this year we're nowhere near that. Uh, so in this particular case, Moselle, I don't. When you add in, this couldn't happen at the worst time. You've got gasoline prices, oil prices, food prices, everything's through the roof, and then this falls on us as well. It couldn't have happened at the worst time. It just could not have happened at a worst time. It's just, it's just bad. And I'm not trying to convince you otherwise. It's just bad. But I, I've talked to quite a few people, and nobody. That I talked to, their taxes went to eighteen hundred dollars. Well, it all, it all depends where your house is situated. Mine are up probably around thirteen hundred. Uh, I'm on Broad Street, give or take. Uh, my business where I am, which is the old theater, is up maybe five thousand and change. But that's assessed. You know, where it's assessed at. Uh, so it, everybody got it different. Mrs. Harris said she was about nine hundred. Uh, my father tells me he was just shy like eight hundred. So it, it, it moves depending on the property. But it's onerous on everybody. Well, I don't think I should have to, I was looking for what mine, mine would be $6,101.95, I think it is. It's a lot of money. You're right. Living in Paul's where you get nothing. 